is Grace Freeberg, and my topic for the Sal Analogy Project is a camera. I chose this because photography is something that's really important to me, it's something I love to do, and it's my favorite way to express myself artistically. So the first component I'd like to convert to the cell is the outside like casing of the camera. I compared it to the cell as the um, cell membrane because it holds in all of the important components of the cell, and the same way that the cell membrane holds in all of the important organelles. The next thing is the shutter. So inside the lens, there's a little dot, and the little dot is the shutter. And the shutter opens and shuts when the camera needs the light when it tries to take a picture. In the same way that the protein channel opens and shuts and lets things in and out of the cell only when the cell needs to. The next thing I was going to compare is the battery. I said that the batteries right here are the mitochondria because the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell the same way that the batteries are like the powerhouse of the camera and the camera wouldn't have any energy and wouldn't work without the batteries. Let me shut. Wait for it. Okay. And the next thing is the wiring. I can't open up the camera and show you because it'll mess things up inside of it. But the wiring is like the endoplasmic reticulum. And then the ER takes the information, important RNA, and brings it outside of the nucleus. And the wiring inside the camera takes important information, data, and power inside and outside of the camera. The next thing is the lens. And I said that the lens was like the nucleus because it's the most important part of the camera. And the camera wouldn't be a camera without a nucleus, without the lens, the same way that a cell wouldn't be a cell without the nucleus. Okay, and the next thing I said was the memory chip. I said the memory chip was the nucleolus. And I said that because it holds all the important information. I said that the information inside the nucleolus is like the DNA because it's all of the information and it gets copied later on, just like the DNA does. And then the next thing is the casing around the lens. I said it was like the nuclear membrane because it's around the nuclear nucleus and it like takes it and it makes sure that nothing gets in or out that doesn't need to. Okay. And then the next thing is the sensor. Inside the camera, there's a sensor so that when the lens flashes, it lets light in and the sensor captures the light and turns it into something that the camera can use. And the Golgi body takes um, particles from inside the cell and turns them into something the cell can use by putting them into little vesicles. Yeah. And so that's why I said that the sensor was like the Golgi body. Okay, and then the next thing is the delete button. So the delete button, I said right there, little trash can, is like the lysosomes because the lysosomes take all the unneeded materials and throws them away, dissolves them. The same way the delete button takes all of the unneeded information and pictures from the camera and it deletes them. And the last thing is the, right here, if I can open it up, right there, is the USB port. And the USB port takes the information, and I said it was like the ribosome, because it takes the information that is copied from the memory chip, and it feeds it through and turns it into something that the camera or other devices can use through a cord. I said it's like the ribosome, because the ribosome takes the copied RNA, which is the copied DNA, um, and feeds it through the ribosomes to make little protein structures that other things can use. So that is my analogy, and thank you.